It is July 27th, 2021, day 56. Um, so we just uh, got dropped off, off by the uh, bus in Rutland at the trailhead. Um, it's a free bus into downtown and to the trailhead and lots of other places. Um, we stayed at the Yellow Deli Hostel last night. Really good place. Um, whatever their mission is, doesn't matter because uh, they provide a great service. Um, and uh, the deli part is also uh, has some delicious sandwiches. We had some breakfast sandwiches and uh, brought some stuff to go today. Um, but for today, we've got 12.9 miles on the plan. And as usual, uh, we might uh, pull some audibles and uh, see how uh, where we actually end up. But we're calling it 12.9 right now. And we've got three miles up, give or take. And then we're going to follow that with another three miles up, <laughs> um, give or take. So that'll bring us to the top of Killington. And... Then we've got six miles, give or take, all the way back down. So uh, basically a half up, half down day. And did you say this is the highest uh, peak in Vermont? Is the highest peak in Vermont. Highest peak in Vermont. So it's all downhill from the top. <laughs> As usual, we have some rain in the forecast. Um, I, hopefully it'll just be tonight, but we'll see. It's claiming heavy rains tonight. Uh, but then maybe clearing up a little tomorrow again. We'll see. See you out there. Okay, passing our first shelter. No stop here, I assume. No. <laughs> you can smell the shellac on the, uh, the sign. You must have just put it up. About halfway up the first push. Yep. Up, up, up we go. I'm hoping we'll have uh, nice views from the top, but this is our first uh, opening of the day, so figured I'd turn on the camera. We're going the other way, though. Our mountain's on this side of the valley. It's probably what we did yesterday. It probably is. We holding up? All good. You? Yeah. Uh -huh. I actually turned on my camera in case I get a, attacked by birds. There was a giant flutter over my head. Uh, flashbacks to the uh, hawk that attacked a uh, bull way back a month ago. But looks like I got through fine. We'll see if we hear any yells from Melissa in a minute or two. Okay, it's another new sign to sniff. It's not quite as uh, fragrant as the last one. Weird. <laughs> so weird. But uh, we are up and over the uh, first push. First climb of the day. And now we have the second push. Ooh. And if I were a northbounder, I guess I'd be interested in having hit the 1700 mile mark. If you were a southbounder, would you want to know you have 1,700 left? 
Yeah, and this isn't 1700 for us because it's 2193.1. They're off by 0.3. Okay. So this is nothing. So somebody didn't calibrate their uh, mileage before they put this little symbol here. Okay, no blue bla blaze for us. We should probably follow the uh, long trail. Yeah, and that sign's pointing the wrong direction. And the sign is pointing the wrong way. Okay. Off we go. Off we go. Three more miles up. We are approaching the Cooper Lodge shelter. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Which means we should be near the uh, side trail to the peak. Hey, how are you? Hi, pup. How are you? Decided not to... Uh, Harass the people in the shelter. So moving on up. Ooh, there are even a tent platforms up here. And a privy off in the distance. And we passed a sign for the water source. Okay, I am huffing my way up the spur trail to Killington Peak. This is a good climb, getting my uh, cardio up. All right, I huffed my way up to the uh, top of Killington. First, pretty legitimate view of uh, the last week or so. I remember uh, seeing that tower from uh, across the way yesterday. There's the uh, easier way up and down, but not for us today. Awesome. It was a tough climb up, but it was worth it. It's back to a Rocky Mountain. We haven't had one of these climbs for a while. So if nothing else, the Blue Blaze it was worth it for that. I didn't want to forget what uh, rocks were like. Just had a good chat with the folks up uh, They were up at the top there having lunch. One was just uh, out day hiking, um, so uh, climbing this just for the exercise and the fun. The other two were, uh, were Novos, looking for uh, thoughts on what they had ahead and reiterating the, uh, what we've heard that we pass over Mount Greylock in Massachusetts and then nothing else big until Virginia. Okay, well, I'm going to turn this off and get myself back down there. Howdy. That was a long lunch break oh, you just made awesome. me uh, take. Hanging out and eating in the sunshine. But now, unfortunately, we have to walk again. We're uh, basically halfway through the day, so uh, it was... Just over six miles to get to the uh, top of our day. Um, and then uh, another six plus miles down to where we're going to camp. And we're still uh, kind of open on that. There's a shelter. And after that, there are a couple places, a couple streams that should have some uh, 
places we can throw a tent near. So we'll see. But uh, halfway through today, and another uh, six plus miles to go, and then we're done. So the rocks going up Killington and down Killington reminded me of the old days in New Hampshire and Maine. And now uh, the trail here does too. It's a really uh, rocky, rooty, edgy little trail. A couple uh, blowdowns for fun. Guess it can't be all cupcakes and marshmallows. Okay, as our uh, is normal for the last uh, week or two, we're being chased into camp by a late afternoon thunderstorm again. At least we're not on, on any sort of exposed ridge line, so uh, not worried about the thunder this time. But uh, it's definitely starting to rain heavier. So I think we're gonna get wet in the next hour before we're able to uh, hopefully squeeze into the shelter, which uh, would be my my plan. Ooh. How's my balancing act? Sure you don't want to do these? <laughs> She's less sure of her balancing act. We uh, stopped at the shelter that we just passed and it was absolutely full. And then some. With uh, one south bounder that we know and then a whole mess of north bounders all huddling from the rain. So we figured if uh, we're going to have to put up our tent anyway and get it wet, we would push another mile or so and uh, set it up where we wanted to. And luckily the rain has uh, let up a bunch. We haven't heard thunder for a while, so that was good. It was really rolling for a while. Okay, and we just found out that it wasn't a huge group of uh, North Founders at the sh shelter. Um, it's some sort of summer cramp group. Um, the folks we saw were all older, so uh, we must have just seen the counselors. Um, but the folks deeper in the shelter must have been part of the, uh, or the actual summer camp attendees. So that would explain the... Uh, the large group. I think, I think, if they're summer camping, then they should be getting the experience of getting rained on. And out of our shelter. <laughs> but first come, first serve. And they were there first. Okay, so the good news of passing up the shelter is... We just crossed 500 miles, woohoo! We have done 500 miles on this trail. So far. So far. I remember when we crossed the 100 mile mark. But, yep, 500's a pretty big number. Okay, we are back on the woods road with white blazes. And I think the tenting spot we're looking for is going to be right 
across this bridge or so. Got a nice stream for water. Still been raining this week. Trail goes to the right, but let's see what we can find for uh, camping around here. Not a bad spot. And no, we didn't pack out the uh, plastic chairs. They come here. Come with me. The site. Got a nice little brook down here with some really good taste in water. And that's the bridge that we were crossing when we realized that we didn't actually have to cross it to get to the, uh, this little campsite. Not too shabby. A little wet to start a fire tonight, though. Oh well. Perfect spot otherwise. Okay, it is end of day 56. 56. 56. Um, so we did 11 and a half miles out of the town of Rutland. 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 And we're uh, at a nice little shelf site um, next to a, a rushing brook. Um, Why is it rushing? Because there's a lot of rain, I guess. Because it poured on us today. <laughs> Woo just our regular daily pouring on. But uh, it, luckily it... Uh, Stopped for us, so we had plenty of time to eat dinner um, without getting too wet. And set up the tent. And set up the tent. And it did start till late in the day, to be fair. It didn't start till about 3 o'clock, maybe. Yep, yep. So, um, I think I mentioned on the video we uh, swung through the, uh, the shelter, which is uh, about a mile or two behind us, and it was jam packed. So uh, we, we decided um, the rushing brook would be a better place to camp than uh, with 20 other people. Especially because so. there was a summer camp there. Yep. Then we yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, how was your day? Good day. Uh, good hiking day. Uh, as always, climbing out of town with a full pack is tough for me. And we had a big climb today up to Killington Peak, which is the highest peak in Vermont. Yep. Um, so that was a little bit tough. But uh, one of my highlights today is after we set up our cell site, um, we're right next to a bridge where the AT crosses, and two different groups of people we knew. We said, hey, and they walked back over the bridge to come over and chat with us for a few minutes. So that was just kind of fun. That was good. Um, that, yeah, we've been adopted as a trail mom and dad by this um, <laughs> group of five young adults. Um, and that's just kind of cool. And they're like, hey, we should have drinks in town next time. Give us your number. And we're finally like, okay, sure. Okay, you're buying. You're buying. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was the highlight of the day. But yeah. most of the trail was really nice. Yep, most of the trail was really nice. The, the, uh, the trail down from Killington, um was actually rootier and it's the first time in uh, vermont i haven't yeah. liked the trail they rerouted part of it and it went up and over a bunch of tree roots and like it just was like undulating up and over roots and undulating yeah. big word uh it just made it really difficult for no reason and the yeah. rest of the trail so beautiful and smooth it wasn't because yep. the rocks or anything they just chose like to dig out tree roots and make us climb up and over them so it's kind of ankle hazards today yep. But we survived. Um, I, I I was happy uh, going up to the to the top of Killington just to uh, to check it out because I haven't seen a peak for a while. Um, we haven't had any good views, um, so that was that was nice and open. And uh, um, the climb reminded me of the old days of Maine. going up and down in Maine and New Hampshire. The old days back in the and day. And I quite happily skipped the point two hike up to the peak of Killington and hung out on my path in the sunshine, eating my lunch and relaxing. Which I also greatly appreciate. <laughs> okay, I think that covers it. Good day. Good day. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, no. See ya. <laughs> See you tomorrow.